Okay, so what seven things do you need to know and understand to master English? Let's get started. So number one, a clause. Yeah, got to understand what a clause is. A group of words with a verb. Object, subject, verb. Quite important. You came here to talk to me. You came here to talk to me. Why did she draw that? Why did he say that? Clause. What did he do? Do? What did he do? I don't know. I am driving to Birmingham. Driving. Clause. I. Subject. Driving. Verb. Object. To Birmingham. Clause. Number one. Okay. Now understand what a dummy subject is. So essentially using it without referring to a noun. So it's coming for the parcel. It. Who is? He, she, them, her, that. I don't know, but it. It's coming for the parcel. It is two o'clock. What's two o'clock? The time. Oh, okay. It's cold. Oh, what's cold? The water, the food, the, the, out with the weather, the car, the house, the metal. It's hot. What's hot? The house, the car, the weather, the people, the water. I don't know. It. Dummy subject without referring to a noun. Number two. Okay. An introductionary it. It is used at the start of a sentence to refer to a general idea, something abstract or not concrete. So we could say it is heavy. What's heavy? It is long. What's long? Long or long? It's tall. What is? The dog? The wall? The person? It's weird. What's weird? It's a bit short, isn't it? What is? It is difficult to climb. It? 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 Which one? What are we referring to? It was easy to learn. Easy to learn. Yeah. No problems. Easy to learn. It is an easy language. What is? Spanish? English? I'm not sure, but it is. Okay. Then we have extreme adjective. An adjective that is stronger than a gradable adjective with a similar meaning. So we could say freezing. As opposed to cold. It's the same meaning, but much more extreme. Much more stronger. Melting. Hot. Boiling. Hot. Frozen. Very cold. Let's say, could say, lightweight, light. Dense, heavy, starving, hungry. Could say, fast, speed of light, fast. Rush, he's rushing, fast, rush. Yeah, freezing, cold. Boiling, melting, bubbling, hot, um, crushing, heavy, crushing, heavy. Oh. Yeah, extreme adjectives. It's always a little, a little eccentric. Now, a participle. The form of a verb used to make compound tenses and different tenses of the verb. So compound tenses combined with the words play, play, playing, played, player, draw, drawing, drawer, drawn, different suffixes that change the word meaning. Or even prefixes as well, undrawn, unteach, mm, mismanage, yeah mismanage, manage, managing, managed, manageable. Teach, taught, teaching, teacher, teacher, 
Yeah. So a participle is a form of a verb used to make other tenses or compounds or other verbs. Like play, playing, played. This different verb, or the same verb in different tenses. Yeah. Quite important. Because it's quite subtle, that one is. Okay. And then we have... Whoops. Uh, whoops. And then we have this perfect. 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 Like in terms of tenses. A tense that is consistent uh, consists only of a link between two times. Between two times. So the perfect tense, the past perfect tense, the perfect continuous tense, things like that. I have arrived in Mexico. The present and the past. You could say, um, present, I am flying to Mexico. Then over time, in the past, I have now arrived at Mexico. Because I flew in the in the present. I had gone for a swim today. Well, I have gone for a swim today. In the present, which is earlier this morning, I went. I went for a swim. And then I was swimming. And then I came back. I said, I have gone for a swim. I have gone for a walk. I went for a drive recently. I drove 24 hours ago. The 23 hours ago, came back. So things happened and things progressed. Came back in the present. Uh, I'm now back in the present. Yeah. Now this one is very interesting. A syllable. Because syllables affect how um, how sup superlatives or superlatives are made. Big, bigger, biggest, small, small or smallest. So Every word is made up of a certain number of syllables. How many times the vowels are sounded in the word? Ah, like Adrian. 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 Jessica. 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 Sophie. Sophie. And you have James. J. 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 Ames. James, James, Tom, Lee, Andrew, what else we got, Anthony, 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 who else is there, Henry, Jacob, Jack, Jack, um, Jessica, Sophie, Harriet, Harriet, um, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle. So these syllables are used to create superlatives, as I said. So when we have, say, beautiful or expensive, so an adjective that's got more than two syllables, beautiful, expensive, we use more or most, more expensive, least expensive, most expensive. We don't say expensiver. We say expensive, most expensive, least expensive. But one or two syllables just normally have ER at the end. Big, big er. Uh, tall, taller. Hmm. Tallest. Small, 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 smallest. Ah, nice subtle difference. But those are syllables. How how long essentially a word is and how many times you say the vowels not bad pretty cool okay so that's it syllable perfect participle extreme adjective introductionary it dummy subject and clause cool seven things cool press the subscribe button and keep watching always more videos bye for now